Uh, in this video, we will see how to record a script in JMeter for HTTPS application. Okay, uh, HTTP or HTTP application. So in the previous video, we have seen how to install certificate uh, in our uh, generated by JMeter and imported into our Windows machine to accept all Excel uh, websites. So now uh, we have added a HTTP script recorder and we have created a transaction controller. So I will make this transaction controller as a launch to launch my JPEG store. Launch, launch JPEG store. Okay, launch page. And next I will add another transaction uh, with the name as uh, name as click on sign on. Click on sign on. Yeah. Next I will add another uh, transaction controller to login. To login. Okay. Uh, the fourth transaction is I'm logging off from the application. Just I'm doing a login step here. Log out. Okay. Log out. So in my HTTP script recorder, it will show under the target controller, it will show all my transactions what I've recorded. So first I'm selecting my launch page, launch transaction to record all the transactions, all the requests which are coming under the launch page into a launch transaction. Okay. So here one more thing we to under, underline is like uh, we need to add a port here for setting a proxy. Without setting a proxy, uh, we couldn't record our uh, uh, we couldn't record the script. So when you set up a proxy, uh, all the traffic what it is going through browser will be redirected to a JMeter to actual server, actual server. Okay. So first we need to set up a proxy. I mean if you uh, to set a proxy, we need to go to browser. Uh, go to settings under settings search for proxy as uh, I'm using the Chrome browser the, change, the settings will be changing on browser to browser so I'm using Chrome browser when I click on proxy settings it was started uh, it was opened uh, Windows menu uh, Windows uh, proxy pop-up so under the proxy settings you need to go to the manual proxy setup and uh, click on localhost and double it double it Okay, so uh, localhost and double it, double it. So this is a port what I'm using, double it, double it here. Uh, so if you want to change the port, still we can change the port and uh, uh, to double it, double it, to double it, double it, or the port as we wish. Okay, once you change the port details, click on save button here. After you save, you should, uh, uh, once you start JMeter, you should not able to, uh, you should able to see the all the traffic record on your launch page. So first we'll get the, uh, JPEG store uh, URL. Yeah, we have JPEG store URL, URL here already. So I'm closing settings here. So just I'm starting my uh, JMeter. I'm starting my JMeter. JMeter started. So it will open the pop up here, which will have a transaction. So if you keep the transaction name here, here, it will record all the, uh, I mean, in the request, you will see the transaction name. So I'm not giving that. So one of the requests is already captured here, uh, which is uh, google.com, which is google.com. Okay, now we'll uh, do it on uh, JPEG store. So when you add a proxy, so the complete traffic from your machine, if you're open to uh, Outlook or if you open uh, uh, any other software which is connecting to its services, so it will go through your JMeter. So you will get lot of, lot of, lot of requests in your JMeter. So I have closed all my other services and other softwares, uh, which will, which will create a, uh, a headache for us. So even for that, we have got multiple calls, uh, which are now login call. Okay, now I'm changing my transaction. When you do, uh, when you record each and every step, I'm going to change uh, the transaction name under your uh, target controller. Click on sign in now. So I'm going to click on sign in. Uh, I clicked on sign in now. Next, when you do another action, you need to change your transaction from uh, current to next transaction, what you want to uh, record. So now I've clicked on sign in. Now I want to do capture login transaction. So now I have a login. I've created the username password already. So I'm entering my username password here. So now it was coming to login transaction. Okay. Now my login also got the trans uh, records. Now I'm logging out of my application. So click on log out uh, and uh, click out to log out in the application. So it will record the logout uh, record logout transaction logout request here from your application. So this is logout request. Okay. 
So now go to the HPP recorder and stop it. Uh, one more thing, uh, friends, if you have forgot to add, like we can uh, record our uh, 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 request and responses using uh, uh, GMeter. We can see all the request and responses. So I'm using view registry now. I'm using view registry now. So it will capture all our request and responses. Okay. So just I'm making empty it again. I'm making empty it again. Uh, just to see the launch page. Just to the launch page. Uh, and then click on sign up. Okay. So now in our start, I'm starting the trust server again. Just add the close again. Now when you click on launch, um, it's uh, okay. I'm refreshing the page again. So when it refreshed, uh, you should see your request in your uh, view will see, which will have all the information, request data, and response data. Okay, so this will this can be helped. This will help us while enhancing our script. Uh, while enhancing our script uh, from scratch, it will help us to watch what value has to correlate and what value has to uh, capture and which is changing and which is not changing. Okay, now we'll click on sign in now. Uh, we'll click in sign in. Uh, I need to change the transaction name. Let me change the transaction name. Uh, click on sign in. Yeah. Click on sign in. It was changing now. And clicking on sign in. Now you you will still get the another request which is for username and password. So we will have all the information what we have here. So we'll record under uh, username and password here. We'll we already log out of the login. So we click that again. Uh, we'll change the transaction from sign in to login. Now when you enter the username and password again, it has to capture what I have entered in the browser. Uh, if you click here, uh, we got the login step. This is the login step which we got it and the record is already recorded. And it will show you the what data we have mentioned here and we'll get the response what response you have got from the application. Okay, this I got a sign out and my account. Okay, so this is how we need to uh, we can use a view registry uh, and we can save the view registry by before recording. We can do the file name here, we can browse the file name and we can do the file name to wait it has to save the request and response. Browse, I'm giving the file test something. Uh, I'm not giving the bin it here. I'm giving here record file. We have to give this file before recording, not after recording. Just I am giving an uh, idea how to say that. So I am given the file container, so we don't have any file. If you next request when you record something, then that content will be saved in this recorder section. When you, you can load whenever you want by browsing the file and selecting the file, it will show all the request and response of your, of your script, recorder script. Okay. Uh, thanks for listening, friends.